a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Have you ever heard that saying? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What does that mean? And how does it relate to PayPal? Well, Buffett says this, and he says that it's actually a finance equation. And the way to think about it is treasuries. Let me see if I can get treasuries. This is the yield on treasuries. Treasuries is the bird in the hand. Historically, if you want a risk-free rate, you want the safest return, you're going to look at treasuries, and they're going to pay historically 7%, 5 6 7 8%. Sometimes it pays a lot more, and sometimes it pays a lot less. So this is the bird in the hand. Why would you ever give up the bird in the hand? Well, because you think you'll, you'll make more somewhere else, maybe twice as much or three times as much, but something more for the risk. So the bird in the hand is treasuries, and the two in the bush is something that'll pay out more. Okay, so if we look at PayPal, this might be the two in the bush. And Warren Buffett likes to buy companies when the earnings yield, which is the earnings a company is making for the price, it's higher when that number is higher than treasuries. Let me just pull up treasuries one more time right now. Treasuries are 3.69. So less than 4%. You can actually get one year treasuries closer to four and change. So this isn't, you know, the rock solid number you want to look at, but four to 5%, we can say. And then we jump back to PayPal. And we pull up the earnings yield and it says 3.692 but this is backwards looking. The, the earnings yield forward is expected to be higher. And the way we can pull that up is if we go to Seeking Alpha and we look at all the different earnings expected for this year, the forward PE is about 12.9. And when I did the math, it was almost 8%. So, By the end of the year, we will look back and most likely say that right now, the earnings yield for 2023 will be somewhere around 8%, okay? So that's a lot more than treasuries. If you look at treasuries, that's 3%. It's almost twice, four versus eight. And does that mean the stock's gonna go up? No, not necessarily, um, may not go up, may actually go lower. All right, so I have made previous videos and technical analysis is, is showing that, hey, people are selling. We are making lower lows. This thing could could go to 40, 40 something, who knows? But fundamentally, and I've shown this before as well, it might go higher. If you take the earnings from Seeking Alpha or, or any, wherever you get your analyst information, and you plug those in forward and you give them a valuation, you're going to get some numbers. And my math shows that if, if PayPal grows over time and gets higher earnings, PayPal stock should be worth more. That's all it is. That's all, that's all we can do. So if it goes lower, okay, we'll have to see why, but the business has has a future. At least that's what analysts are saying. Now, let's look at Meta, because Meta was in the similar scenario at one point when it was getting sold off. And I'll just hide this a little bit. At one point, Meta had a really juicy earnings yield, as high as 11. Investors were selling it. 
they didn't trust the metaverse. There was a lot of issues. Ads were coming down from a high valuation to a low valuation. And if you bought it just because it was cheap and paying more than treasuries, well, this thing almost tripled from 87 to around 270. That's almost a triple. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now the earnings yield is around 3%. Isn't that amazing? So it went from low valuation to a optimistic valuation. That happened to PayPal one day. And that's the question investors are gonna be wondering. Is this a stock you just buy and you put away and you wait for a higher valuation sometime in the future? I don't know but no one else can know either. So I guess we'll find out. I like it for the future. Fundamentally, I'm doing as much research as I can to figure out the best that I can, but buying companies that are profitable, making money, free cash flow positive and waiting for conditions to change. That's how you do the bird in the hand versus two in the bush. Cheers.